Greetings, I'm Kathy Green with Christian News and Interviews. So I'm going to talk to you today about um, an article that came out in 2020 that excited me so much. And the article is titled, Black Women Are the Most Educated Group in the United States. I remember hearing that and thinking, you go girl. <laughs> I'm going to read to you just one um, section from that article and then I'm going to post the article below. The claim that black women are the most educated black of Americans comes from a 2014 study that cites the percentages of black women enrolled in college in relation to their other in relation to other race gender groups. Considering enrollment alone gives an incomplete picture, black women are also starting to outpace other groups in earning degrees. For example, although black women only make up 12.7% of the female population of the, of the country, they consistently make up over 50% of the number of black people who receive post-secondary degrees. They're talking about master's degrees, PhDs, law degrees, dental degrees, medical degrees, so on and so forth, okay. Percentage-wise, percentage -wise, black women outpace white women, Latinas, Asian, Pacific Islanders, and Native Americans in this arena as well. Yet, despite the fact that Black women are enrolled in and graduating from school in the highest percentages across racial and gender lines, negative depictions of Black women abound in popular media and even in science. In 2013, Essence magazine reported that negative imagery of Black women appears twice as often as positive depictions. Images of the welfare queen, baby mama, an angry black woman, among other images, shame working class black women's struggles and reduces black women's complex humanity. These depictions are not just hurtful, they have an impact on black women's lives and opportunities. Now, because of the length of this article, I am going to post the entire article below. But I will say this, I as a black woman and as a human being am personally disgusted at the depictions of black women. The twerking is really on my nerves. Um, you know, years ago, back in the, I think it was the 80s or, or late 80s, early 90s, Black males in those pants, those sagging pants, down to their ankles, down to their calves, down to their knees. And I would often wonder, why are they bothering to even put on, on, on pants? Why not just walk around in your underwear? And I thought it would last a week or a month or maybe a year, but it went on and on and on, the sagging pants. And it just made black men look bad. It really did. It just made them look bad. And they were showing up at job interviews like that as though it was something normal. Oh, it was just horrible. And so it's, I don't see it as much as I used to, but it still exists. The sagging. Whew. And so when twerking took off, I was hoping again, first of all, that it wouldn't take off within the black community. But somehow we always seem to pick up on filth. You know, when crack came out, we jumped on the on the crack. When heroin came out, we jumped on that. It seems like so many in our community jumped on filth, followers instead of leaders. So when this twerking started, I was thinking, oh, Lord, please don't let black women pick up on that. And so we have these low self-esteem people like Lizzo running around twerking and and, and ooh. So recently at the Dolce, Do, Dolce and Cabana fashion show, there was Sierra 
and I guess twerking is all she has because she certainly can't sing. So we have Sierra and Bang of the Stallion, Stallion and Normandy, all three of them at this classy event, dressed to the nines and doing what? Shaking their booties. It was pathetic. Um, when I looked up the definition of twerking, we know what it is, but I looked up the definition and um, from what I saw, it says it started in New Orleans and it basically involves thrusting the hips back and forth and shaking the buttocks. Why is that something to be proud of? If you're going to do that, why not just do Sierra has a husband. Do that for your husband privately. Why do you have to come out in public with that? When I think of classy women such as Dion, D, uh, Diane Carroll and Lena Horne, Eartha Kitt, Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, Dionne Warwick, and so on and so forth, they never would have lowered themselves to such a disgusting act. So why are black women doing that? Going into restaurants, jumping up on tables, shaking their behinds. And why is that type of black woman being shown? Look, I've been black all my life. I've never hung out with anybody like that. Every black woman in my family, in my sphere of influence, um, the professors, my friends, my sorority sisters, so on and so forth, they're normal. They wouldn't be caught dead twerking. There is a group of black women who are normal. I just, I just read an article, I'm gonna post the article, educated black women who are normal who don't go around shaking their butts and jumping up on restaurant tables. Why isn't that group of black women shown? So that young black girls will have someone to look up to. Why are they being shown the Megan the Stallions, the Normanies, the Sierras, the God forbid Lizzo's? Our country's in trouble because the wrong type of person is being pushed. And it's people who are classless. I guess they were raised by wolves. I just don't understand it. Tell me what you think below.